Okay, I think we're live. I think it's operational. I think everything's working. Awesome. How you all doing guys? Hope you're doing fine out there and the stream's not too bitty. I have just noticed that um, there's a time change isn't there in the USA so yeah I'm, I'm sorry I'm on Mike's uh, his time I guess. Don't know how that works. I'm not sure whether there are time changes at some point. I thought it changed a little while ago. Cheers. Okay, let's get to it. Thanks for joining us for the live stream today, guys. Lots of stuff going on. It's a very busy time. I've just been editing a video. Um, I think that'll be up later on. Possibly, and maybe about half an hour after the live stream. Possibly an hour after the live stream's complete. Let's say hello to some people in the chat because there's lots of people here. Lots and lots of people already. Uh, Sebastian's in the house. Jim O'Connor's just going out on a run in his new Liberate Nitros. Enjoy those, Jim. If you're listening to this post-run, I hope it was a good a good run and they did the business. Chris McFarlane's in the house. We've got Mike Gamber uh, is, is here too. Mike Gamber says, uh, maybe Beast can wear the Invincibles and they won't r r rub his claws. Beast is down here, sat by the radiator at the moment just keep him warm just guarding uh what you got down there beast uh hyperion tempos and uh, boston nine just down there beast is keeping an eye out which is good uh who else have we got here uh robin's here he says good evening ed looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the next percent too they just arrived today so give those a try tomorrow i did get out in the next percent yesterday to sort of refresh my mind about that shoe. It was quite different actually, I hadn't worn them in a while and running in that shoe now with the improved fitness and it, it was effortless, absolutely effortless and very enjoyable. Um, what else we got going on here? Um, there's, there's, there's hundreds of people in here, there's hundreds of people in here. Let's, let's try and speak to as many people as we possibly can. Um, Chris McLean says evening all, he's just heading out in the uh, He's heading out for a run. And there is a Reebok sale on, guys. There's a Reebok sale. I knew there would be sooner or later. He's uh, picked up a pair of the... Are the Float Ride Energy 3s? Are they th £39? You know what to do, guys. You know what to do. That is a great shoe. I've, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Energy 3 in the Next% Percent 2 review tomorrow. Because there's a couple of things I, I need to talk about about the upper of that shoe. Um, you will notice in the background I've grabbed a pair of the Mac 4. Um, it feels really, I don't know about it, it's just me, it just feels really slippery underneath. Um, Hoka's always look weird in my size, they just look like boats, like a kayak or something, you know? But yeah, I got them in the Kafuzi sort of colourway. I can't imagine Mike wearing one of the brighter ones. Got to be, got to be this one. It's nice and light, that's for sure. We'll give that a try a little later in the week, perhaps. See how they pair up with my feet. Um, what else we got going on here? Um, Mank Ed says, "Good evening, Ed. Uh, the Endorphin Pros are on the sale, fifteen percent off till tomorrow on Sport Shoes. Do you think it's worth getting a pair?" Or save the Earth credits and get the Vaporfly two, uh, next percent too. I would say save and wait till whenever it is. The end of next week, is it? I think when the next percent two is out. So that would be my that would be my thing. Um, Cheekster says, good evening, Squire. Good evening. Um, Mr. Regular Sunday evening live stream. Yeah, I was going to do it yesterday, but family stuff, you know. I wanted to spend some time with my wife um, on the old Mother's Day, so we had a bit of food and some cards and that sort of thing. It was good. Um, I see Mike Kafuzi took your slot. Yeah, I think it's like something to do with the time changes or something. I'm not sure. Uh, Joel McCluskey is in the house. Hello, Joel. Um, we got that running guy is here. Uh, he says, see the Nike have the next one two up. Yep, the blue ones are up, I think. Um, on the 20, is it the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, something like that. I'm sure they'll they'll go pretty swiftly. Kev Burton is in the house, my 
my main man, the next Kev Next Percent, Burton, is here. Anybody that ever says that Next Percents aren't durable, you must speak to Kev Burton because that man, he's put them through a lot and they just keep on giving back to him those shoes. Um, mod with the cods here, hello. And we've got Scott as well over in, I think it must be New Jersey. How are you doing, Scott? Hope you're doing fine. He's been supporting the channel for a long time, as has Chris. He says, hit the like button, people. Yes, do please hit that like button, guys. It really does help the channel out. It helps the video out to get us out there to a few more people, which is happening a lot these days. I think we're just approaching about 16,500 subscribers now, which is amazing. So thank you for that. Uh, Matt is in the house. Uh, Steve Wool Waldridge uh, is here. Yeah, go for it. Uh, he says, I haven't done much in the Energy 3, Steve. Go, seriously, go for it. I've just got, there's too many things here for me to try out at the moment. Uh, Jack P is here. And the Body by Duff is in the house. Teddy Man uh, Tactico's here. Gavin Braden. We've got um, Go for One Rio One. I, I'm not sure what it means. But hello, it says Mike from Minnesota. He's watching the live stream whilst he's running in the, in the Rocket X. Amazing. I, I take it he must be on a treadmill, maybe, or if he's sort of watching like this with the phone. And then, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, maybe one day, yes, as I see the box, it is the next percent too. Uh, Steve King says, Steve and um, Amanda plus two beast lookalikes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Beast is, I don't know what Beast is doing, it's sort of milling around a little bit. It's just eaten, so it's probably, you know, feeling a little bit bellious, maybe. Uh, Kim is here. We've got Immortal Rob, he's in the house. He's not far away. Nearby, somewhere. Um, what else we got here? There's a funny comment there about Kim, Kim Lawston says that I can walk on water in the hokers. Do you know, you probably could. They're light enough that I think I could probably walk on water. Look how long they are. It's just madness. The problem is, if I get an 11 in a hoka, it just feels really constrictive. So I need to go up the half to, to make them feel right. Uh, who else we got here? Oh, Kev Burmaster's in the house. He says Kev B, number two, is also here. Awesome to have you here, Kev. Good to see you. I hope you're okay. It's staying safe out there. Immortal Rob says Kev Burton is a legend. It is true. NV saving the earth credits. Ready for the next percent too. They've made them £30 cheaper. I'll tell you how they've made them £30 cheaper. It's because Adidas have released a shoe that is £170 that seems to really work. So I think that's why that Nike have made them a little bit cheaper. Today we're on the Harper's Brewing Company Amber Ale. It's good stuff. Ah, oh, it's like nectar. I'm like a bee to nectar. Um, Will Willing is here. Um, he says, is the Meta Racer worth buying for a 5k race? I'm not sure I'd go for the Meta Racer for a 5k. For me, it kind of feels like a 10 to half marathon shoe, personally. But I'm just one man. You could ask... Immortal Rob, because Immortal Rob in the chat has the um, Meta Racer. I know he's been enjoying those. Um, Tim Close, where is he? Hi, he says, the first live stream. Just got you on while doing the dishes. Awesome. Yeah, I quite often actually um, watch Mike's live stream. Um, I'm sorry, Mike, that we're kind of on at the same time. It's a, kind of kind of sucks, really. Um, but I often watch Mike's live stream uh, while I'm doing the dishes as well. And which reminds me, need to buy the new dishwasher. Must do that, keep forgetting. Need to sit down and do that later on to uh, make my life a little bit easier. Um, Genziman Runner says, Hey Dad, did you buy the next percent two proto on StockX? No, um, someone was selling them, didn't want them, and it happened to be in my size. Um, I mean, I would have gone maybe an 11, but the next percent in the 11 for me was. It was. It felt like my feet were kind of smashing into the front of the shoe. Um, with a Nike 11, they're just a little bit too short in some 
models. So uh, didn't get them on StockX, fortunately. Um, Andrew Boothman says he kept his birthday discount ready for the next percent too. Let's hope that that birthday discount will work on those. I know in the past sometimes they've been a bit cheeky and they haven't let people use um, their discounts on some of their higher end stuff. Uh, Replicant is here. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Steve Woolridge says, um, Hi Ed, also have too many but room for one more. There's always room for one more. We can always, always just about fit one more in there somewhere. You know, you've got to start moving around to different places. Lee Sumner is here in the house. Uh, he says, Sorry he's late, held up by scones, jam and clotted cream. That sounds good. Greetings to you, good sir. I hope you're enjoying those scones or scones or however you want to pronounce it. Always like a nice bit of toast with a bit of butter and maybe some raspberry conserve. That is, oh, and a cup of coffee. Can't lose, can't lose. Daniel Fisher says, have I seen the new purple TC fuel cell? I was, I was a bit unsure whether that was a TC, whether it was a new shoe, whether it was, I didn't know whether they were carrying on with the, um, with the fuel cell TC. I heard somewhere on the grapevine that it was going to disappear and they weren't going to persist with that one. Kev Burmaster has answered my question. He says that's the RC Elite 2. It certainly does look like a wicked, a wicked shoe. Mind blown says SL20, uh, SL20.2 is the stability worse than the update. I, I just, I can't get on with that SL20.2. I put it on the other day to run in it and I just, it just didn't feel, it just doesn't feel right. The SL20 was so good. It's, I'm still a bit bitter about that, that they've messed it up. You know, Adidas produced some good stuff, but they've really fouled up on that one. Should have just carried on producing the 20. It's much better shoe. Uh, Panel Sam, uh, greetings from France. Bonjour. He says, Reeboks on sale there too. You got the Energy 3 for 52 euros, so it's 45 Earth credits. Awesome. You see, Earth credits are universal no matter where you live. That is fantastic. I hope you enjoy those panels. They are a great shoe. And, and if I may say, I know that the looks of a running shoe aren't the be all and end all, are they? But it's a really good looking shoe. Certainly in the blue as well. Every time I think about it. It's like the Energy 2. I picked up a pair of those for my dad a while back, like in the summer last year. And I got him the, the white, red and blue version. That's just... Oh, they really nailed it there. Uh, Phil Rowley says, I thought you said you didn't want the Vaporfly 2s. Glad you changed your mind. I, I, I couldn't help myself when they cropped up at, the, at that price at the, at the retail. Kevin Stevenson's here. He says, yo, Morris dancers. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some more Morris dancing going soon because they've not been able to do any of that stuff recently. The uh, Treacle Eater Morris troop around, around here, nearby. Those guys will be back to it. They'll have the bells on and the, the special regalia and all that sort of stuff. They'll be back. We want the Morris dancing back. Kev Burton knows it. Ah, James says, is that the stuff from Aldi? Yes, I believe this is. Uh, Mrs. Edbud replenished the supplies earlier on. Much needed as well. We were running a little low. She got all the stuff. She's 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 a legend. She she went out to do all the shopping, um, with the old mask on and everything. Uh, she's a total legend, Mrs. Edbud. Um, who else we got going on here? Cheekster says I'm the same size as you, Ed. We have the Reebok Energy Three in an eleven and eleven point five. I think I actually prefer the latter. Oh, the the eleven was was good was good for me. That was that was spot on. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's strange. I don't know. Reeboks just seem to be just right for me in an eleven. Um, certainly, the energy energy two was actually a, a bit bigger than the energy three. <laughs> Kev Burton says he's number two to the main man, Speedy Kev B. <laughs> Yeah, the 100 mile effort guys. Kev Burton smashed out 100 mile effort last year. It was, yeah, it was nuts. Imagine the emotions that you must have gone through, Kev. They, it must be 
just about every emotion you can think of. If you're in the chat, give a like to it for, for Kevin. It's a 100 mile effort. Um, we've missed one from Cheeks to there. Let's try and work it through all of the questions today. Um, how do you work out which is the correct size for your running shoes? Um, I've got a kind of general idea. So with Adidas, um, some Nikes, uh, New Balance and Hoka, I've got to go 11.5. It's got to be 11.5, which I think in most... Of the sh most of them is a 12 or a 12 and a half so it's a bit odd I know Adidas an 11 and a half UK is a US 12 but for Nike I did notice with the next percent two that the 11 and a half works out as a 12 and a half which is odd so there we go I don't know how they work these things out for pretty much everything else an 11 is okay I know there is incoming a shoe soon from Innovate, um, which I'm quite keen to test out, which I think I've gone for an 11 in, in that one. Immortal Rob says, definitely get the Meta Racer for 5k to half marathon. Awesome. There you go. I know Rob's been using those quite a bit. He's been putting in a lot of training recently as well. Rob, are you going to do the um, the Yeovil Half? Because I know that's at the end of the, of the month. There's a virtual Yeovil Half going on. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go at that. Why not, hey? It'll be good fun. Kevin Stevenson says the white next percent twos look like your next pair of Morris dancing shoes. Yep, they uh, they could certainly be useful. Imagine how joyous and how incredibly high you could bounce if you wore Zoom X shoes for Morris dancing. It would be ridiculous. You could produce some incredible stuff with that. I reckon. Maybe I'll have to uh, furnish some of the treacle eaters with with some Zoom X shoes. To see what... In fact. I think they could get away with some invincible runs. They would work for, for a Morris dancing. I'm sure of it. They could do some sort of 24 hour Morris challenge where they just Morris dance for 24 hours straight to raise money for, for charity. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's move on. Uh, Rob says, will the next percent two be available in white to everyone? I don't think they'll do any more. I think it's just like a, you know, limited thing, limited run. Maybe not quite as limited as those beautiful Jordan 1 UNCs I managed to get lucky and get from the sneakers out the other day. I mean, they're just beautiful. They are beautiful shoes. I don't think there'll be any more, though. I think it's going to be blue and then that awful blue and red one with the red bit around the front that looks like some sort of smiling monster thing it's really odd i'm not sure about those omar says hey i just want to tell you that he got a 16 16 for his 5k holy mackerel I wanted to share it with you because you're such a great guy love running he's now a second fastest freshman in ca omar that is amazing absolutely amazing dude that is a hell of a time oh i reckon in my heyday you know 20 odd years ago or whatever maybe more than that i could have maybe got a little closer but yeah not these days how 41 am i 41 i don't know can't remember 41 now i think i'm reaching my peak now right now <laughs> um kirabat says hi ed from sunny brooklyn heading to prospect park for a 7k after the live stream awesome it's, it's just, the sun's gone down now out here and it's still nice and nice and warm today. Oh, nice easy run today for me, four miles um, in the Invincible run. Oh, they were okay, just easy pace today. I wanted to try and keep the heart rate under 130 beats per minute and I managed to do that. I think it was about 126, 127, something like that. Just keeping it real easy today. It was like just a nice easy run to let my legs recover a bit from the uh, session before. Rob Weatherall says he got stung trying to use his birthday discount on the Invincible run. I remember that. I remember that happening, Rob. Um, Jaden got his birthday discount working on the Invincibles. And that running guy says his birthday discount did work on um, his Tempo Next Percent. So I know you'll love those. That running guy really likes Tempo Next Percent. And I 
can understand that. It's certainly one of my favourite Nike shoes of recent time. Immortal Rob says he's looking forward to the Magic Speed and, um, yeah, the other shoe. I can't talk about the other shoe. I can talk about the Magic Speed, but... Can't talk about the other one. George says the Floatride NG3 has been treating him well. Huge improvement over the second edition. Yeah, I think just everything about the Energy 3s are just like a little bit better than the, the second version. But I mean, it, it's such a cheap price, you can't lose. Omar says, do you think it's worth getting the Vaporfly Next% Percent 2 over the Alpha Fly Next%? Percent? The Alpha Fly is one of those shoes, Omar, that I think works really well for some people, but not others. Um, I like the Tempo Next%, Percent, and I do like the Alpha Fly but running in the next percent yesterday, I have to say, Omar, was one of the most enjoyable experiences, running experiences I've had since probably I did that time trial, the half marathon time trial. I know it sounds crazy, like running in that threshold zone, but I, mean, I, I just had a ball. It was wonderful. Listening to some Courtney Barnett on the headphones as well. I was wearing a big running jacket, um, thicker socks, and you know I was just hammering it out in the next percent and it felt wonderful. Only problem I had yesterday, which I'm a little bit sad about, I got a massive stone wedged into the rubber section in the uh, forefoot of my Ekadin pair. And when I took it out, I mean that that stone was right up against the <laughs> right up against the plate. It was really deeply embedded in there. I needed to get some pliers and literally pull this thing out. So you're gonna have to try and fill it with a little glue maybe, just to stop water from getting in there. Uh, Steve says, just back uh, from six miles in his invincible run. Fast enough to get some good blisters. Oh no. I've been taking him four or five miles. I'm still worried about those big blisters coming back again. You know, that was like, what, a week before I did that time trial? I was pretty upset about that. I know some people are loving the Invincible run, but for me, I think it's a pretty expensive, expensive toy. Um, it's an expensive luxury that not a lot of people are going to be too interested in. Uh, Robin says, have I tried the Solar Boost 3 yet? I haven't managed to test them out yet. Um, it's going to be this week. Um, got a little niggle with that already, that, that shoe, with the um, the tongue where it loops around the foot. There's a piece where it's kind of stitched together and it's, yeah, I can already feel it on my foot just wandering around the house in them a little bit. So we'll see. Kevin Stevenson says he saw some prototype Alpha Fly 2s knocking around with a lower stack height. Interesting. You have spiked my interest there, Kevin. I'll have to dig around and find out some info about that. Um, Kevin Braden bought uh, two pairs of the Energy 3s. That is it, yeah, that's a darn good deal. That's a darn good idea. Immortal Rob says he's in for the overall half. Awesome. What time are you going for, Rob? Let me know what sort of route you're going to do as well. Maybe we can team up, do a bit of pacing of each other. Uh, Lee Sumner says he's brought our flies on the birthday discount, so he got 60% off. Nice. Uh, Mankhead's in for the Innovate. Yep, yeah, I shan't say too much about that yet, but keep an eye out um, over the next couple of weeks, possibly. Oh, sweet. So you're going to go for 89. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm in. You know, Rob, if you, depending on what route you're doing, and, you know, obviously we can distance ourselves and do all that kind of thing. Um, Teddyman Tactico says, are the gri grip nubs on the outsole of your Adizori Pro still attached? Yeah, they 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 look pretty good. Pretty much the way they were out of the box, I think. They've held up well. Uh, Nick King, he's ordered the 1080s as an easy day trainer. Yes, absolutely. That's, an easy, that's the king for me at the moment of easy day shoes. 
1080. It's just a such a lovely fitting feeling upper. It's got some softness, it's got just a little bit of give. It's it's really is right up there for me. Um, Aaron says, greetings from the Isle of Man. Taking on a marathon time trial. Awesome. In the Nova Blast. Best of luck on that one, Aaron. Brilliant stuff. I don't know, is the Isle of Man, is it quite flat? Is it, what sort of elevation are you looking at? Kevin Stevenson's going to do the Hackney Half Marathon. Um, they've moved it to September. Hackney Half, I'll tell you, that sounds fun. Hackney Half Marathon. Might have to have a look at that. This place is. I, I, I'd be quite up for doing that. I'm just quite up for ra is some, some racing going on. Did someone say racing? I'll be in there. You know it. Um, tch, tch, tch. <laughs> Robin says the blue and red next percent too looks like losing a toenail. <laughs> it's true. It does. That's what happens. You get it all the front of the shoe. I, I just don't like that red bit on there. The blue ones, the all blue ones, no problem. Um, Mike T says, hey Ed, hope you're doing well. I am, thank you Mike for asking, it's very kind. I hope you're doing okay too. Uh, Luke Coleman says, thoughts on the Turbo 2? My thoughts on the Turbo 2 are good thoughts. Say you go to bed and you're feeling tired and you just drift off to sleep. And you're dreaming about a beautiful Zoom X and React sandwich with a with a nice upper with a generous toe box. Those would be my thoughts about the Pegasus Turbo 2. Rob Immortal Rob says, Oh, you're a tease. Right, I I'm I'm not allowed to say anything about that, Rob. About that at all. I'm sorry. I can't. Um, Tox66 says, what do you think uh, of the topic of controversy surrounding running shoes with carbon plates? Um, what do I think about carbon plate shoes? I think that... <laughs> this is a bit odd you ask that. There's a video coming out just after the live stream, so probably, I don't know, maybe around an hour or so after the live stream's finished. And I'm talking about midsole stacks, how they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's all these weird rules they've put in place now for road shoes. They can only be a certain height. Where's it going to end? Um, I don't think that everybody needs all of that cushion. I think sometimes having all that cushion there can be very counterintuitive, perhaps, to the way that we all want to run. I think that some people might get those shoes and, and only run in them perhaps when they race and that can cause problems for them. I think they're a good thing. I think carbon plates within them actually make them a little more useful. I don't think the invincible run is the answer to anyone's problems. I think that's going to create more problems than anything. And from the point of view of carbon plates, do they give some sort of massive advantage? I, I wouldn't like to say. Um, I think carbon plate, I think they put the plate there in all honesty initially to try and make the shoe a little more stable. And everything that I've read up to this point suggests that the improvement that you get from using that type of shoe with a very large midsole stack is from the foam. And there's a smaller improvement, which is from the plate. So I don't think that's the big issue here. I think that they've stumbled upon a foam that's very compressive, that perhaps improves the efficiency a little bit, which has given people the opportunity to expend a little more energy later. And that's where you're getting your improvement. So, yeah. Altitude tents. Uh, now, I shan't need one of those for a while. I don't think we're... I'm high enough as it is, I struggle just being tall, so yeah, I'm not going up to some crazy altitudes, I don't think there's anywhere that's particularly high around here. <laughs> Adam Rich says he's 40 now and he believes he can still run fast at 40 or over. He's running 15.20 for a 5k, blimey, at 6,000 feet elevation. 
that is that is good that is if i can get even a little closer to i don't know 18 19 minutes something like that i'll be really happy uh, i just enjoy i just enjoy getting out there and running that's my thing Uh, Robert Jones says, impressed with his Saucony Pro purchase. Many thanks for your review. No worries, Rob. I'm glad that they're working out for you. There's a shoe out there for all of us. That's a good uh, good little tagline, that one. I like that. I just think, Beast, there's a shoe out there for all of you. Yeah, I like that. I like it. Um, let's try and get to some of these. I'm, I'm getting behind again. Come on, Ed. Sort yourself out. Um, Stevie says, hello from Glasgow. How you doing? I'll tell you what, Stevie, I DJ'd a couple of times in Glasgow and it was one of the most welcoming group of people that I've ever known. It was awesome. There was one gig um, where the, the organiser gave me his flat to kind of crash out in, you know, afterwards. And I remember waking up in the morning feeling a bit rough and being surrounded by 10 cats. It was incredible. It's the sort of stuff you never forget. I just sort of woke up and then he called me and said, don't forget to feed the cats now to feed them and stuff. They were lovely. Very nice, just sort of cuddly and, you know, it was a wonderful time. It was a good Saturday, was it a Saturday? Saturday morning, possibly. Yeah, it was wonderful. I remember that. Never forget Glasgow. Always, always lovely. He's still loving the Zoomfly 3s, but he's going to have to get his uh, self some next percents when he gets back to racing. Awesome. Yeah, Aaron, hills, hills and more hills, that is the way. I, I enjoy the hills now. I kind of look and go. Think you're steep. Come on then, let's be having you. Uh, ben Reed got himself some deviates from the Puma. Um, it's strange, I'm not sure what the score is with those. Because I got some info that they were coming out at a certain time and then they just seemed to release just before, so I don't know. As long as you're enjoying them, that's what counts. Mind Blown says, favourite firm-ish um, daily and moderate trainer. The new Under Armour that I tested out. Yep. The Flow, uh, it's called the Flow Velocity Wind. Flow Velocity Wind. That would be my, my choice. And it logs all your info for you as well. You just have to run and get your phone. It attaches. It's great. Lovely looking shoe. Reasonably firm with a little bit of rebound there. It's a good shoe. James Taylor says, how do I rate the next percent two upper over the vapor weave? Um... They're certainly different. Softer, the, the next percent two upper. Closer to the upper, you guy's going to think I'm crazy now. Closer to the upper that's on the Energy 3 from Reebok. But I'll go into that in the review tomorrow. I'll get, I'll get in, get out there and start messing them up. I can hear them now saying, come on, take me out there in the grime. Show me the oval grime. And I'll show you a good time. Okay. Um, Conrad says, Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, that was a horse, wasn't it? Running shoe, yay or nay? Horses, yeah. Do we need to ease into training specifically for plated shoes? Or should we just jump in? I would ease in. I'd test them out first before you go straight in. Use them for a little bit. Get used to them. Harness their powers and their energies um, they do take a little bit of time, certainly depending on your running style. Um, I'm a relatively neutral runner, so I found it took time. You didn't get the best out of them until you'd worn them a little while and kind of got used to them. James says, do I think that the next percent uh, two will be stay in stock or just be a nightmare to buy? I think being £30 cheaper than a load of original next percents that they've released only a few weeks ago I'm still trying to figure out the the whole campaign there it just seems balmy to me it seems crazy you know you release a load of new 
colourways of a shoe and then unveil very carefully a new version which is £30 cheaper. Same midsole, same outsole. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. It doesn't seem like great business sense, does it? In fairness. Um, Tellyman Tactico says he bought his first plated shoes and the result was shifting my heart rate down from uh, from five down into two or having all other parameters fixed. Interesting. I mean, you've got to look at over the course of loads of runs over a very similar route at similar paces. If I wear the Invincible run, the heart rate's a little lower. Maybe four or five beats per minute. Not a lot, but there's a small saving there. So, does that work over a longer distance? I don't know. Well, I need to do that. Running a maybe the next percent two and something else, see what happens. At the same pace as though, it's not easy because you just want to run fast in those shoes. They're not the sorts of shoe you put on and think, oh, I'll just bimble around the park a little bit and see how we fare. You know, it's, you just got to be up for it if you put that shoe on. Uh, Cameron's looking to replace his 1080 V10s. Any recommendations? If you enjoyed the V10, the V11's great. Um, if you want a new shoe, maybe you guys can give uh, Cameron some advice there. If you've got any other good shoes you feel could hit the spot. AM is in the house. How you doing? Um, Austin Cow is here. He says, what are the chances Nike will restart the Vaporfly Next% Percent 2 prototype? I, I don't know. Who knows what Nike are doing right now? They do some strange, strange things right now. Anything could happen. Um, Xavier says, hello. He's in Valencia, Spain. And he's interested in the solar boost. I will get to that one soon. Um, so do keep an eye out, um, Xavier. Um, it'll be it'll be happening soon. I remember once DJing in Spain, and there was um, a chap. I think he was organising the event, and he had a dog called Luna, which is basically Moon. Yeah, I thought it was awesome. This dog was running around. Wow, good days. Good days. A long time ago that. Uh, Am says hello from California. Hello, from my old Yeovil. Mortal Rob says best 5k um, was 1929 back in September. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to try and get just a little closer to that if I could, Rob. I got under 20 last year. I think it was last year. Or was it the year before? I mean, I, I got just under 20 um, back in November, but that was on a rather hilly course. So, yeah, I'll have to have another bash at that soon. Rob Weatherall went out for a long run in the Nova Blast. Still one of the most, um, one of the best com and comfortable shoes he owns. Awesome. Omar Reese says the Saucony Endorphin Speed or the Nova Blast. Definitely the Speed, Omar. Definitely the Speed. Ben Browning's in the house. Oh no, they haven't changed the outsole on the uh, the RC Elite, have they? That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. We don't, I don't want that. No. Need to need to leave it just the way it was. Um, what else is going on here? Um, John says he bought one of the. Uh, the is it the float ride? Maybe the Energy 2 or 3, it could be. He's bought them in there. Awesome. Awesome. Glad they are working out well for you, John. Uh, John, the other John, John Brian Serrano says, do you need to uh, use gels for workouts? I tend to take one a gel if I'm going to go upwards of 10 miles. So I'll maybe around the midway point, I'll, I'll, grab, I'll have a gel or something. Um, if I'm going further than that, I'll take some water of some type or I'll leave something somewhere that I can grab I'll do it like a double back or something and grab some water 
uh, to keep me hydrated. Um, Panda Colin says, uh, greetings from the Czech Republic. It's four degrees there. That's chilly. It's slowly got a bit warmer here at the moment, uh, which is nice because I was going through clothing like I was no tomorrow. You know, like a, um, if it was maybe around about sort of seven or eight degrees or, or if you're a little lower than that, I was wearing a vest and then a running jacket and I was running out of stuff. I was just running out of clothes because I was having to wash it so often. I've still kept the run streak going as well. I'm not sure what I'm on now. It's well over 100, 105 or 106 or something days in a row, which is, it's, it's good. <laughs> I do need a rest at some point though. I'll have a good old rest. Um, Amrut says the Velocity Nitro versus the Pegasus 37. Velocity Nitro. I couldn't get on with the Pegasus 37. It just wasn't a, wasn't a goer for me. Velocity Nitro is a far more versatile shoe. Just more comfortable. Just more about it. Just vastly better. Um, Kev Burton says, will I come back to part run when it's on? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll wear three masks, Kev, and um, I'll just wear half a bottle of brew as well, and that'll I'll be safe. Um, Saeed Hassan, he says, hi from North London. How you doing, Saeed? Who else have we got here? Try and hit some more of these. Um, Rob Weatherall says that these his heart rate drops in the tempo next percent, especially on easy runs. I I found that anything that's got a little zoom X seems to do the trick. It just drops the heart rate just a little bit. There's something magic about that foam. I'm not sure quite what it is, just the certain compressive nature, but it does really seem to lower the perceived effort. Paul M says he dislikes having a rest day. Um, well, I don't particularly like uh, enjoy the run if it's more the challenge of the run. Yeah, I think I sort of agree with you there, Paul. It's that kind of mindset of can I get out there and do it. Although I do like to enjoy my runs. Recently I found a nice um, addition to a route that I already had. So I kind of run out of the town up a nice tasty hill. Um, and then out into the country a little bit and then double back a good seven mile effort there and it's it's a nice run you get a little countryside it gets you your head clears and it's it's a nice one. Oh yeah Ben Browning's talking about the Roger Pro I think I just think that's an amazing amazing name for a shoe the Roger Pro you can't beat that Immortal Rob says he used to do a bit of DJing back in the day. Awesome, Rob. Yeah, we um, we started out, myself and a chap called Rob Graff, Rob G. Uh, we used to play uh, a lot of jungle and uh, drum and bass stuff. Ooh, that would have been, what, 90, 94, something like that, 95? Around that period. We went to jungle sort of from the early 90s, really, when it first appeared. When it was a new thing. Uh, Ron Tommy says hello from Florida. Audi Zero Pro versus Meta Racer. Both seem cheaper now. They, are, I think, they have come down a little. Um, if I was going to go for one, I'd probably go the Audi Zero Pro. I think it's just a more versatile shoe out of the two. Um, Kim says no New Balance Beacon on the website now. Is there a new version? I, I don't know. I'm surprised that they've sort of pushed it to the side. Maybe it's coming back very soon. Maybe there's a new version. Um, Saeed says the Invincible, the 1080 V11. 1080 V11 straight off the bat with that one, Saeed. I just think it's a better all-round shoe. Too many people have had problems with that Invincible run. Blisters, just unsta unstable kind of feel. I mean, they're... they're I'm warming up to them a little bit, you know, just as a sort of easier day type shoe, but I don't know. It just leaves me feeling a little bit 
worried. I'm always a bit anxious. It's like, am I going to get some really bad blisters again in this shoe? Which isn't the thing you want in your mind when you're running. Graham Steele's in the house. How you doing, Graham? Good to see you. I need to message you back, Graham. I know you did fire me a, a Facebook message the other day, so I will um, get back to you and let you know, because, yeah, it would be good to um, to do a a half marathon effort um, together, pacing. That would be good. I want to get under that 130 in a race type situation if I can. When when that comes back, that'll be awesome. Amrit says, thanks, Ed. No problem at all. Richard Rendell says, down that beer, and I'm savouring it, Richard. Ah, that's good. We'll draw this one to a close in a couple of minutes, guys, because um, I need to get back to the uh, video, get that finished and ready. If you're in the chat, please hit the like button, guys. It really does help out. The channel helps us to grow, helps us to get out to more and more people. Um, Nizar TC says, any recommendations for bigger runners? Um, I would look into the Solar Boost 3. Um, I would also look into... Um, what, what I would suggest is that something with a little bit more of a, a denser cushion. So look at something like the um, Infinity React, possibly. I just feel that those shoes give a little bit more if you've perhaps got a, a heavier build. Maybe even the 1080 V11 as well. That could work out well. Do be careful though, because there's loads of width options for that shoe. So make sure you get the right one. Richard Rendell saying, yeah, 22nd of March for the next percent. I think that is the um, the price they've got. It's 209, I think, over in the UK. Um, I think we're getting it slightly before, perhaps. It's very odd, though. Um, there's, there seems to be delays for stuff over in America. Why are they delaying it there? It seems really strange. Um, Teddy Man Tactico, he says, am I going to unbox the next percent two live? Um, I'm going to get those um, under the camera first, get some shots of them before I mess them up, because they're going to one run, and they're going to be messed up. So... Um, that's uh, that's what we'll do tomorrow. Will be the time for the next percent too. Graham stills give me the thumbs up. Awesome. I know that Graham can get me there. In fact, Graham, I think you got me under the the twenty minutes for the five k that time, didn't you? Graham still did me proud on that one. Right guys, I'm going to draw this one to a close, quickly saying hi to Chris Townsend, who's over in Glastonbury, not far away, just down the road in fact. Hope you're doing okay, Chris. Richard Rendell's talking about some ASICS shoe. Can't talk about that, Richard. I can't talk about that. Right, we're going to hit the road guys. Thanks for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. Uh, do look out, around about an hour's time, there'll be a brand new video up on the channel for you to consume and enjoy, like I've been mm, enjoying this well-earned beer today. I bid you farewell for the time being, guys. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.